City officials met earlier this evening to discuss some zoning updates at Riverfront Park. Now the updates come after a large bulk grant for improvements. The two proposed rezonings did not include a particular part of the park that one group says is essential. WBKU reporter Mason Fletcher has more in our top story at 10. Low Hollow Trail of Weldon Peak Park has served as the home trail for the Warren County mountain bike team for the past several years. But now it has a chance to be removed due to city officials supported updates to the park. So the plans that they've given forth do support a lot of outdoor recreation opportunities, which is wonderful. But the trail that we use, the 2.2 2 mile Low Hollow Trail isn't in those plans. Um, and that trail is used by our mountain bike team four to six hours a week. Uh, it's what we're named after. And it's also a trail that's accessible to everyone. The mountain bike team consists of 17 riders and seven coaches. With national and state affiliations, the team travels to four or five races a year and does very well, ranking top five in the state since 2017. With the next nearest trail being over a half hour away, those 24 individuals are now faced with a possible new reality of not being able to mountain bike in their home city. If this trail were removed, it would make it very hard to operate our team. We would have to travel further. Uh, some parents wouldn't be able to do it. Our team, our kids couldn't condition quite as well. We would have to practice on gravel trails or pavement, and it just doesn't give you the feel that a, a two mile or larger or longer mountain bike trail would. We have to practice on what's known as single track. The mountain bike team and their affiliates have big goals for their home trail using it as a headquarters to attract other mountain bike enthusiasts to compete in Bowling Green. Without Low Hollow Trail, that wouldn't be possible. It's always been my dream that Low Hollow would be a venue for the Kentucky Cycling League's race series. And um, if this trail isn't here, that can never be a reality. And the KSCL races bring a huge amount of people to the area, over three to four hundred riders, parents, volunteers. They bring money and food and lodging. Reporting in Bowling Green, Mason Fletcher, WBKO News. The meeting today revealed the first two potential rezonings of the park with more to come, and we will keep you updated as we get more information.